CES-17, is a high-throughput geostationary communications satellite to be operated by CES and to be designed and manufactured by Thales Alenia Space on the all-electric Spacebus NEO platform. It will weight more than 6 t 6 .6 tons, generate over 15 kilowatts of power and have a design life of at least 15 years. It will have around 200 car band spot beams to offer coverage over North America, South America, the Caribbean, Mexico, and the Atlantic Ocean mainly for aircraft connectivity. It will be SES's first pure car band satellite in the geostationary orbit and is expected to be launched on an Arian Space Ariane 5 rocket in H1 2021. Topic: <laughs> Satellite description. CES 17 is based on the 3-axis stabilized Spacebus NEO satellite bus. It will mass around 6 t 6 .6 tons, produce 15 kW of power and have a design life of 15 years. As all Spacebus NEO, it will use electric propulsion exclusively for both orbit raising and station keeping. Its payload is composed of 200 car band transponders arranged spot beams. This high throughput satellite's beams will cover North America, South America, the Caribbean, Mexico, and the Atlantic Ocean for the aviation connectivity market. History On September 12, 2016, CES-SA ordered its first car-band high-throughput satellite, CES-17, from Thales Alenia Space. It was to be built on the Spacebus NEO platform, weight 6 t 6 .6 tons, produce 15 kW of power and have a design life of 15 years. It would offer aviation connectivity services over North America, South America, the Caribbean, Mexico, and the Atlantic Ocean and was expected to launch in 2020. Its anchor customer was going to be Flightlive by Thales, which would be operation since 2017 thanks to the use of other CES satellites on orbit. The project cost was expected to be around $500 million. Topic. See also CES SA. The owner and operator of CES 17 List of CES satellites, list of all CES satellites